Last month, when I first returned to YouTube making vinyl videos for the VC, I made a video for the 50th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by uh, the Beatles. And I noticed that, for the most part, the response was pretty good, but a few people actually gave me a lot of pushback on that video. And basically, over the price of it and the nature of record collecting, and it wasn't a big deal. I've gotten a lot of positive input on that and all the other videos since, and I want to thank you all for that. Uh, Fat Vinyl City, Doug, thank you. Lou over at Daddy Senzi Silver, want to thank you in particular. My boyfriend, Scott Edwards, you know, all of you, you've made some great comments. But I wanted to address those haters again. I addressed them in another video. And what I wanted to address them with was this, okay? Um, I'm not going to personalize this too much. But just theoretically suppose that you are a record collector on a limited income. A lot of the new collector vinyl is very expensive. And I'll give you an example of this. I've been wanting this particular vinyl for quite a long time. But if you look at the price tag, that's very hard on a person with limited income, a price tag that's quite like that. That's going to be kind of rough. But a lot of people I've talked to about vinyl who are probably not in the VC, I don't know if they are, have actually told me that they feel that a lot of collector vinyl if they don't go out and get it as soon as it come out, no matter what the price of it is, if they don't get it as soon as it comes out, that it will go off the market, become rare, and they'll never see it again. Uh, at least in the case of the local record store that I go to, a lot of the things that they have don't get bought. As my friend Henrique pointed out, a lot of people just feel, you know, I like collecting vinyl, but I already know how... Led Zeppelin, uh, Alice Cooper, or the Beatles, or the Beach Boys, Prince, Michael Jackson, whoever, sound on vinyl. I don't need to get all the issues of that, even if they're remastered. I already know the basic sound. But that being said, I find at the local record haunt I go to in my area, if the vinyl doesn't sell, it gets discounted a year later. And that's how I buy these collector vinyl sets if I see them. I don't have a lot of them, but I wait for this to happen. This is about a year old. 75% off. I got this album for 8 bucks, folks, approximately. I had this on vinyl originally, Tug of War. It was probably a copy I bought back from my dad when he sold it. And then I got the original CD on MPL. But this is from the Paul McCartney archive collection, and I debated whether I wanted to get the CD or the vinyl or not, but the vinyl decided me for one reason. Number one, it is 180 gram audiophile vinyl, and it also has the newly remixed album with the eight unreleased demos and B-sides, and a downloadable audio version of all tracks included, so it has a download card. And this is essentially an unboxing video. So I'm going to open this right here. This is going to be pretty easy to open. Just got this on vinyl a couple days ago. There we have it. Theoretically my second time owning this on vinyl. But this is the archive collection. Still got the great classic gatefold that my version of the album had. The difference is when you open it up, it shows pictures of everybody. There's Paul McCartney, Stevie Wonder, Carl Perkins on the end. There's another picture. And let's take out the vinyl and see how that looks. It's a much different MPL label, much more basic. This is the bonus audio edition. And I think I see it on the bottom of this. Here's a Paul McCartney download card for the MP3s of this. It says Tug of War on the back. That's pretty clever.
It says lyrics to the songs, just like the original album did. There may be booklets to the CD version, but I just wanted to get this version. So here's my version of Paul McCartney's Tug of War. And I hope a lot of you out in the VC understand a little bit better why a person like me who has a limited income, but who still collects vinyl, how they like to get albums like this. Discounted. Take your time. If you don't have a big income, take your time. These records are not going to sell out like hotcakes, even if they're limited edition, because they're expensive and that alienates a lot of people. And just wait. Have a little patience and you'll be able to get what you want. If you can afford it, cool. That's great for you. But that's just my story and a good one for people in my position so they don't feel alienated by the high price of collector vinyl if that's what they're into. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to really enjoy the outtakes and enjoy your music and your new music, your new vinyl. Peace to all of you.